everyone. Today I'm here with Georgia, who is our model for today's photo shoot. I'll leave her Instagram down here on the screen and in the description, so please go and check her out because she's amazing. So today's our first photo shoot behind the scenes video of the year, and I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips on how to take beautiful portraits in overcast weather. So I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. I'm gonna start like here in the middle and see what it all looks like. I'll take a test shot. Perfect. Overcast weather is arguably one of the best times to do a portrait photo shoot as the light is soft. Because the sun is diffused by clouds, it results in some really flattering portraits as the light will fall evenly on your subject's skin. Oh, that one's beautiful. I love making the most out of overcast weather and shooting in all different directions that I normally wouldn't be able to do when the sun is out. For example, in Sydney, the sun rises over the ocean. So if I wanna take portraits with the water in the background, I have to either do that during sunrise for soft backlight or wait for an overcast day. Otherwise, during the day and in the afternoon, my subject will be harshly lit by the sun with the water in the background. Yeah, beautiful. Perfect. And did you want to try some maybe with your hands kind of playing around? I definitely made the most of our overcast weather today and captured lots of portraits in directions I normally can't shoot in due to the sun. So my first tip when shooting in overcast weather is to try and make the most of it by using locations you normally wouldn't. That looks so nice with the wind. <laughs> Can I get you to lean into your knees just a little bit more? Keep in mind that depending on the type of overcast weather that it is, the lighting still does affect your model's face. Bright overcast weather can still cause shadows just as if the sun was out. So make sure you keep an eye out while you're shooting to make sure there is enough light on your subject's eyes. If you're finding the eyes are not catching the light enough, you can ask your model to bring their chin up, which will allow for more light to fall onto their face. I wanna try, maybe you could lean forward a little bit. On darker overcast days, you might not experience this issue as much, but there are still differences. For example, here are two shots taken in opposite directions. On one side, you have the dark, moody clouds in the background helping Georgia stand out in the photo, and the light is nice and soft and even on her face. In the other direction, the background is a lot brighter and the light is slightly brighter on her face, causing it to look more high contrast compared to the other direction. While I like what both directions look like today, I wanted this photo shoot to look darker and moodier, so I opted to shoot with the darker skies in the background the majority of the time. And did you want to bring one knee kind of up and you can lean your over? That looks perfect. Something you can try is to shoot in a few different directions at the beginning of the photo shoot to get a feel for how the light is looking. Then depending on what kind of photos you're after, those test shots will give you a good indication of which direction to face while you're shooting. I'm gonna take some full body shots here. So actually that looks really nice and I like your hair on both sides as well. Beautiful. And you can look around as well if you want. <laughs> and swing your arms around a little bit more. <laughs> Finally, you can get some like pretty cool looking shots when you do walking. Oh, that looks so good here. Yeah, you can play with your hair, that looks really nice. Perfect. Maybe we can try some on the side with the cool as well. Perfect. I just had one more idea with the water. We'll get in just a little bit further. Is that okay with you? <laughs> Okay, because <laughs> I want to get some of like the waves and stuff I think would be cool. Let's 
see what that looks like. Ooh. I love that. <laughs> that looked amazing. Yeah, I'll do full body first because the dress is really nice. Nice. And then maybe we can have some if you kind of like tuck your hair behind your ears. It'll just be nice as well. Just kidding, the rain drops off. Yeah, perfect. In overcast weather and especially with our location of the beach today, you might find that your images look flat and muted in terms of colors. In our case, there's not much color in the water, the sand or the sky. To bring back some interest to your photos, you could try finding locations that have a pop of color. I find that green locations such as gardens, flowers or forests can have amazing results in overcast weather. Another option, which is what we did today, is to choose an outfit that will make your model stand out from the background. That's so Since nice. Georgia is wearing a bright red dress, it adds some contrast to our colors, resulting in a more interesting portrait. I reckon we'll do one more sitting down in this one, if that's okay. Uh, are you okay to sit down here? Or? <laughs> kind of like on the side with your legs. Love that. Let me get a close up, that looks amazing. Is that hand, can you bring it out towards this? Yeah. My next tip is to be mindful of including the sky in your photos. Sometimes an overcast sky can have beautiful depth with moody clouds which really adds some story to a portrait. While we didn't have any defined clouds, the sky was really dark while we were shooting, so I captured some portraits where you can really see a lot of the sky as I thought it added an interesting look to the photos. In other cases, an overcast sky may just appear very flat and super bright in your images. Try photographing at different angles such as by standing on your toes and pointing your camera down or getting your subject to sit down to avoid the sky as much as possible. Just like the example I showed you before, a dull overcast sky in an image can end up just looking like an overexposed area in your photo. By using composition and your camera angles, you can avoid having this distracting element in your portraits. Uh, I'll start with full body. Beautiful. I like that with your arms kind of like swishing to the side, it looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. You can smile if you want to have a giggle. <laughs> That's nice. Perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and last but not least, keep an eye on your camera settings. Usually when photographing on an overcast day, the lighting is a lot darker and depending on what kind of location you're shooting in, you might have to fiddle around with your camera settings a little bit more than usual. I'm gonna try resting your head on your arm. Oh, that's so cool. It's really cool because you don't expect someone to be laying down like in clothes on the sand. <laughs> a rule of thumb while I'm taking photos is that I like to make sure I don't let my shutter speed fall under 1 over 200 as I really like to capture movement within my portraits. Can you bring that hand out or... <laughs> yeah, or actually maybe tuck it under your arm. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> it's a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah, perfect. 
Uh, just hold that hand like out flat. Yeah. During today's photo shoot, we had some great wind which was making George's hair and dress flow and I wanted to make sure I could capture those moments without any motion blur. Well, let me get a close up, don't <laughs> Oh, now I need a lay down. <laughs> Usually, 1 over 200 is as far as I like to lower my shutter speed in these situations. The lowest I got my shutter speed today was 1 over 640 as it was still a pretty bright day, but if I find that I'm at 1 over 200 with my aperture wide open at 1.2 and I need more light, I would just bump up my ISO until my image is correctly exposed. Well, that's a wrap for today's video in the rain. You are absolutely amazing. <laughs> Look at her, she's covered in sand. She didn't say no to anything that I asked. <laughs> Laying down in the wet sand, everything. So thank you so much for today. I had a lot of fun. I had fun too. So. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the photos and the tips. Uh, please let me know what you thought in the comments and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, you might want to watch this photo shoot behind the scenes which was also photographed on an overcast day but in a different location. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I make new videos every single Wednesday so I will see you all next time. Bye!